Let's continue rocking out with our Saxon Phonics for today. Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to finish reviewing and talking about the letter O and the two sounds that vowels make. We'll also do a little practice at making and reading words. Here we go. Let's think of some words that begin with the ah sound. Let's see, we have octopus, ah, ah, ostrich, ah, ah, on, ah, ah, otters. All of those begin with the ah sound, the short sound that the letter O makes. Remember, all the vowels have at least two sounds, a long sound and a short sound. Today, we're going to learn about the long sound of O. I'm going to say some words, and I want you to think about what you hear at the beginning or initial position of each word. We have oval. Ocean, open. What sound do we hear in the initial position? We hear an O sound in the initial position of each of these words. O is the sound you hear. It is the long sound for the vowel O. The long sound is simply the vowel's name. Let's go ahead and let's practice with some words. We have no, so, go. What letter do you see that might be making the O sound? We see the letter O at the end of each of these words. Let's look at our alphabet strip. Is the letter O a vowel or a consonant? Let's remember our vowels. A, E, I, O, U. The letter O is a vowel. Our new keyword is the word overalls. So when we see this card, we're going to say overalls, O. Overalls helps us remember the O sound because overalls begins with the sound O. Now let's see if we can figure out if today's sound is a voiced or unvoiced sound. When we do that, we gently put our fingers on our throat and then we say today's sound. And if our throat vibrates just like a rubber band, then that means that it's a voiced sound. If our throat does not vibrate, then it is unvoiced. Go ahead and try it with today's sound. This word. Do you see a vowel in this word? Yes, we do. We see the letter O. Is it followed by a consonant? No, there are no letters after the letter O. The letter N comes before the letter O, but there is nothing after the letter O. An open accented vowel is long, and we need to code it with a macron. So that means that since there is no consonant after the letter O, it's going to be a long vowel sound. That means the letter O is going to say its name. And we need to code it with a macron to remind ourselves 
that it says its name, O O O. We also need to go ahead and add an accent to this open syllable. Now let's go ahead and sound out this word. Remember, slowly at first, N O. Remember that letter O is making an O O O sound. Let's do it again a little faster. N O. And one more time a little faster. No. This is the word no. Great job today, boys and girls. We learned about the long sound the letter O makes, and we did some practice with it, reading and making words. Great job. Don't forget to do the rest of your lessons, and we'll see you later.